Yo, 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 what's up, bromies? It's your boy Chris here in the Simple Man's Girl Lab. And today, I am going to be making my own uh, specialized soil mix. Some people call them super soils. I don't like the term because it's annoying. Pretentious. Today, I will be using this cocoa perlite mix. I believe it's 70 30. Yes, 70 30 pure blend. Mm. Organic cocoa coir perlite already pre-mixed for me and uh i'll also be using down to earth dry amendments uh bio live and langmanite just to uh kick start some of the microbiology i'll also be using my horticultural charcoal this is all organic certified um just to add a little carbon to the soil which will help enrich the roots, keep them um, healthy, maybe give them a boost. Um, you know, plants breathe in carbon and having it directly at the root zone really helps the roots grow vigorously, it helps them expand a lot. So let's just get right into it. But before we get started, please, if you could, just mash the like button. Uh, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification so you'll know when I'll be dropping more videos. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So first, I'm going to start off with your cocoa coir mix. Like I said, I'm not going to do anything super special. I like to get it prepared at least a week in advance before I start uh, placing my cuttings. Or not my cuttings, but before I start placing uh, any of my plants. I'm going to go here. And usually what I would do is add boiling water to this, just to get rid of the pests. But I'm not too miffed about uh, pests right now. Actually be beneficial for my garden because I want predator, predator insects to come around to the garden. They'll take care of it. Um, all of my sprouts, all of my seedlings, I will be transferring to the outdoor garden. Um, it's just too hot to have the, the grow tent on. So I'm going to actually use nothing but natural sun to get these. These little sprout things started, these little seedlings, and then yeah, we'll transfer it to our outdoor garden. Um, the reason why I'm doing this now is because in July it's a little late in the season, but you still have time to grow certain vegetables. Uh, right now, I'm going to be growing some red acre cabbage some red Russian kale, and some Georgia Southern collards. And when you drop these, um, I can make some collard greens for my girlfriend or family that never had them. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But what I'm adding now is my charcoal mix. And now, as you can see, I didn't have much left after planting the pineapple. And the, uh, the, the herbs that I've planted, like the mint and stuff, but it's enough. You don't need a whole lot anyway. It's just a little added, a little extra to go with the plants. Usually, I should be wearing gloves, but today I'm not. Uh, cocoa's pretty clean, and I don't mind rolling around getting my hands dirty. That's what she said. Next thing I'll do, some bio live into the mix. Um, this isn't necessary for you to do, but I like to get the nutrients started already so that when the plant cuttings are able to, to take them up, it won't be an issue you know, readily. Tablespoons. 
tablespoon. And then that's three tablespoons. We're gonna put about Thank you. 